can you see the winter beard is coming along nicely? <laughs> and that should be because the two cowboys are at the Rock Creek Fall Fair. That's a mouthful. And in the background, they're already tuning the goose. That's the pipes getting going. Let's go see what the Fall Fair is all about here at Rock Creek because you've got the two cowboys, the resident jokers of the Boundary Country, and we're gonna have some fun today. <laughs> How old do you have to be to play the pipes? From any uh, any age up. Because I thought I, I thought you have to be at least all white before you can get before you can get your hands oh, on the pipe. Oh, we got one of these guys. <laughs> where, where about you from? I'm from here. My aunt here is from Camel River. We're trying to tell people why they need to come to the fair, and obviously you're local, so that's the only entertainment we have in the, in, in, in the boundary, isn't it? But, but give us a good reason. Uh, for me, it's to support the young people in 4-H. Yes. That's a good reason. Yeah. Is, is the coffee good as well? The coffee's excellent. Every year it's good, it's reliable. Awesome. And it's cold out, so it's warm. So why the Rock Creek Fair? There's so much else you can do in the boundary, isn't there? Um, my family have been volunteering at the fair for like 50 years-ish. Just uh, come enjoy the fair, come here every year since I was a kid. Yes, yeah. and? You, you participating in anything here? Nope, just in par participating in eating all the food. All the food, which one's your favorite? Uh, probably the donairs. This is where we make an assessment on how well the season's gonna go for barbecue here at the Boundary Country, because this is where the 4-H thing happens for the lamb. And you know how love, with, love affair we have with lamb, and it's all above the belt, believe me. Look at how beautiful our lamb is gonna be for next year when we put it on the smoker. I have two kids, they show sheep. And we just picked one out there for our smoker. We're gonna put him on the smoker here. Maybe maybe Thanksgiving, but definitely next year's crop looks pretty awesome. What do you reckon? <laughs> You're not gonna tell your kids we're gonna cook their lambs, are you? Oh yeah, they know that. They know that? Oh yeah, sure. So have they given them names, no? Yeah, sure, they pet their pets, but they sell them in the end in barrier, so. Yeah? yeah. So why are you guys doing this? When we're done competing with them, they go to barrier and we auction them off and then we get to eat them. Yeah, you get to eat them. <laughs> so what do you feed your lamb to make it a good lamb? Um, I feed two pounds of grain a day and about the same for hay. What do you do to compete? Help me out. What's, is it just raising the animal, making them fat and then getting meat out here? Uh, so it's waking up early, feeding them, washing them, brushing them, walking them and then doing it all over at night and every day. So if you don't do lamb and you don't do beef, there's always a rabbit in the boundary country. Let's go see what the rabbits are about. <laughs> so 4-H ambassador, what does that mean? That means I'm an ambassador for the 4-H program. 4-H is a youth development program. We actually focus on leadership, self-awareness for your kids, public speaking, projects, everything. And actually, most people think that 4-H is based, like we are based around agriculture, but we are not necessarily agriculture. We are open to all kids. So the whole idea is to, to teach young people a little bit about what it takes to become a producer to look after an animal, rear it, and then, I mean, we know eventually it's gonna, we're gonna put it on the barbecue out there, but we don't tell too many folks about that one. Chicken in motion, what does that mean? Poultry in motion, um, we are BC chicken growers, um, and we go around educating the public on how we raise commercial meat, because there's a huge disconnect between people and their food, and there's a lot of misinformation out there that people think that chickens are grown in tiny little cages and... We love BC chicken. We yeah, love yeah. all chicken that we can put on our barbecues and our smokers and, and people think it falls out of a factory. Is this beyond meat nonsense? Is, is that catching on at all? I don't know. Not, not for me it isn't. <laughs> but I know how, you know, I know how it's raised and, and we work really hard to make sure that our chicken is super healthy and taken care of very well. It's not in our best interest to not treat our animals, you know, with the utmost of care. And we're, we're third generation chicken farmers. So we've been raised to take care of, we instinctively know, like, you know, when your child's sick, we can tell when our chicks are sick. Like we, we just know it's in our genes. It's who we are. A longhorn from Canada? Nope. No. <laughs> no longhorns from Canada? Because we got some just up the road here. Perfect. Yeah? yeah? You're going to butcher them for us? So you guys are from Armstrong, and the kind of things, I love the horns, by yes. the way. Yes, yeah. they're beautiful. Yeah, so where yeah. do you get them? 
Uh, we get them from the uh, right on the border between Texas and uh, and Mexico. And the Mexican people, they polish them up and make them look beautiful and put them all together for us, and then we haul them home. Do you know of any guys in in Canada that does the same thing? They, they mount these know. these homes? No. None. So you you were here last year too, weren't you? Yep, I'm here. I've been here every year for a few years now. Are you from the area? Are you from Boundary? I'm from Kelowna. And what's your favorite things you're finding? Uh, my favorite things to draw would probably be just like really weird creatures or anthropomorphic animals done in like a diesel punk style. Yeah. Oh, that's cool, man. If you're selling this stuff, you must be able to speak Afrikaans. I don't know, Angenome Kenneth Hendrik van Wijk. We're talking about red bush or bossy's tea. What, what's the yeah. real name for this yeah, thing? Yeah, it's bush tea. It's bush tea. And, and the, the, the reason why it's called bush tea is sort of it grows up in the mountains. We've seen your stuff all over the boundary. Every little coffee shop, every place has got your essential oils. But you, you're just up the road, aren't you? Yeah, yeah, we're local. Honey. We've got honey and pears today from my grandparents' farm, uh, organic uh, pears and organic honey. And we've got our lavender fields out in the, out in the farm. So the honey, uh, the bees go to the lavender and the wildflowers. So it's a really nice mix of flavor. You realize to get lavender honey in the southern part of France is nearly impossible to find. And here we got it right in our backyard. There you go, right? Did you want to have a little taste tester? You're running too fast. We can't keep up with you. I have to. Um, let's see. Already at about 26,000 steps today. Full fair. Is it what you wanted this year? It is. The weather's good. It's not sunny, but it's perfect, I think. Um, lots of people, lots of vendors. Everybody seems to be smiling. All the gates are open. We had it. What's the highlight so far? I haven't seen a lot yet. <laughs> Actually, for me, seeing the lineups is the highlight because I know people are coming. Yeah. Definitely is. I tell you, the food for us is just amazing. So we had a good food. You've had a lot of volunteers helping you. Yeah. So uh, you want to say anything to them? Because those are important people in our lives. I just so appreciate what they do for us. We wouldn't be able to function without the volunteers. They are the heart of this organization. And um, we can't say enough about them. We're good. so grateful to have them. Thank you for having the Cowboys. Thank you. You, you got another, you got, sit down. Come, let's, let's get you a seat. You no, need to... I, this is actually not for me, it's for my husband. <laughs> you even look after him in this whole thing? Well, he's, he's, he hasn't stopped since five o'clock this morning. So well, he's running on empty. I, I'm not going to stand between a husband and his wife. So off, off you go, go thank look you. after him. Thank and you. Uh, thank you for having us. Oh, we appreciate more than it. welcome. Good. Thanks. And uh, good luck for the rest of the fair. Thank you so much. All right. Bye. -bye. Bye. <laughs> so, just for what it's worth, that's all the effort that goes into the Rock Creek Fall Fair. Um, you can see all the people around us. The food is great. The animals are here. The weather is awesome. It's, just, it's the thing that happens in this boundary country. And that's the thing that we love to come to every year. Just look at all the people out here. Everybody's having fun. Everybody's having a meal. And the cowboys are here. And it's just awesome to, to finish the season off with this great fall fair. All our friends. And um, you should have been here. <laughs>